All right, today I'm gonna show you how I catch gizzard shad. First thing you wanna do is check with your local state regulations of what kind of net and what kind of bait you can catch in it and how many you can catch. Then I would recommend using a six foot net or bigger and a boat that can get shallow and a boat with a nice deck, which I don't have. So what I do is I had the shallow side pulls. Today's not ideal conditions for throwing. It is sunny, water is muddy at least. So hopefully you won't see me too good. It is two to four feet side pulls. Now this method works in a spring till about early fall, but sometimes they can move in and out of these sh side pulls. All right, so if you got a live scope, definitely want to use it. Unfortunately, I don't. So I mainly got to blindly throw unless I see some disturbance, see some ripples or stuff jumping up. Overcast and at night, it can also be better. That way they don't see you coming. But I was just doing a quick little fishing trip up here and a bait run. So I kind of got up too late to head to Norman. So I got a seven foot net right here with me. I typically like to use eight, but about all my eights are all tore up. Now I'm talking weird because I had a tooth pulled. We got something right here. Yeah, there be something right here. Yep. And there we go. No, we don't. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. That's a crappy. Thought all of them were crappy. All right, so that's a good wad of gizzards there. All right, what we wanted to do, uh, take this crappy, put him back. Yeah, do a. Yeah, he's about dead anyways. Look at this perch. I was using a perch too for live bait. Yep, state of North Carolina. Any game fish, you cannot be caught with a net. It has to be rod and reel only and creel limit. So not monsters, but that's still, that's some good sized ones. Get a couple cuts out of them. Like I said, I've seen some kind of disturbance on the surface. That's why I cast it there. And I got a nice aerator in this 10 gallon with, uh, with some G juice and salt. That'll keep them alive as long as I don't overfill it. All right, so that's, that was a good throw. Yeah, I was trying for flatheads up river, nothing hit. So I figured on my way back, I'll grab some shad.
couple more photos like that and we'll be good. That's another good throw. There we go. You know, I like to let them get all the gunk off and let them throw up and poop in there and then I put them in my other tank. One good one. So yeah, any places that you have people that duck hunt, that's how shallow, well, I turned my sonar off, but we're, I'd say three feet of water, two, two to four, four max. Oh my God, stupid net. This is a Fit Tech Super Spreader. I got it like Academy years ago. Come on. Another cooler. Nice one. This wind has got me moving. There's my perch, it's pretty much dead. <clears throat> and I was fishing for flatheads earlier. Channel cats kept hitting my live bait. Up two. Well, all right. Come on. Get you in that good water. Boom. Oh, I might not need to go to this other side pool. This one's done hooking me up. So this is a good day. Some days it ain't like this. Some days I'll throw, throw, throw. Not catch anything, but one or two. Once the water starts warming up, they're pretty consistent back here. They can come back here in early spring, but you get a cold snap, and that's gonna push them out of it. Like I said though, it, it can be hard work. If you ain't got that live scope to pinpoint them and snap them, and you just gotta blindly throw, it can, it can wear you out and soak your boat. Sounds like they're clogging up my aerator. They are some nasty fish. Easy. They will throw up and poop and dirty water real quick. Oh yeah, 
There's another good throw. Whammo. I think one more of those and we're gonna be set. Cause I don't wanna overfill the tank and have them all die. I mean, they're gonna be cutters, but I got a few fishing trips left. Not want them to die this quick. All right, so sorry to abruptly end that video, but my GoPro had overheated. The battery swelled up in it, and I couldn't get the battery out. My wife ended up getting out for me when I got home, but here's what we end up getting. All right, so I made it home. I had some casualties, so I put them on ice. We got some nice ones in here. I'll use them first tonight. And I still got some live ones. On the bait tape. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what they look like. 